Um, let's get into let's get into our baseball. Let's start off with baseball right out the right out the gate. Um, we can get into. We'll start in the American League um, East because that's our that's our jam right there. That's our team. Uh, we'll go American League East, and then we'll go into the AL Central, and then the AL West, and then the National League East, and we'll do that way. Okay. Sure. So let's let's start off with the uh, I think, and we don't have to go deep into these because I think certain certain situations it's going to be pretty easy to pick. I don't think that this year is all that difficult to pick. Um, it seems like some of the teams that were already good got better, and uh, there are certain teams that st- uh, stayed about the same. And I would put the Yankees in that category. Um, so let's get into. The American League East. American sure. League East, um, you have the An- Yankees, the Rays, the Sox, the, the Blue Jays, and the Orioles. Um, you know, I, I really don't think the Red Sox are anywhere near really contention yet. Uh, are content- they're not going to contend. Um, the Orioles are nowhere and in- they're not going to contend. Um, the Blue Jays, I think, are an up-and-coming team that are going to be dangerous, and they will sneak some wins out in some big spots and will take wins again- away from us um, and take wins away from the Rays because I think those are the two teams that are going to be fighting out for first place, but I don't think it's going to be all that close. I think that the Yankees are still the best team in the American League East. I think that they have not gotten much better. I do think that they are equally good as last year. I think if they can have a couple players, for instance, someone like Gary Sanchez not strike out nine out of 10 times, um, well, that would if you're be counting on that. Don't, don't pay attention to spring training then. Well, I, well, I know he's like four for 30 or something he's like that with like 19 K's. Um, yeah, he's, 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 no, he's no, I shouldn't say that he's just Gary Sanchez. Yeah. Well, which is awful. he needs, they need to, so you hate Giancarlo Stanton. You absolutely hate him. Stanton. Hate, yeah. Hate him. Stanton? No, I don't hate him. I mean, I just, you know, look, he I, I look at him sort of as A-Rod 2.0 sans the steroids. Well, at least I hope sans the steroids. I don't hate him. Um, I just, You know what it is? I hate Cashman more because Cashman just made the wrong decision. Oh, you're on with Joe. He could have gotten Yelich, <laughs> which might have changed the entire course of this team and probably we would have a championship in the last couple of years if not more than one if it had been <laughs> Yelich instead of stay, st- he made the wrong call we got the wrong guy <sighs> and we're paying the price for yeah, it. hindsight's 2020 I, I do not hate Giancarlo Stanton now you know I don't know I honestly Sanchez might be the only guy I kind of really hate on this wow team. and I really just and I because I've never understood it I've never understood it. He's not a good defensive catcher. He cannot hit anywhere near his own weight. My God, if he could hit his own weight, I'd be thrilled. Because I don't know what he weighs, and I'm guessing it's like 220, 230, but who wouldn't sign up for that? Like, I would definitely sign up for him hitting his weight. He'll bat over over 230 this year. I'd sign up. No, he will not. I would sign up for him hitting above the Mendoza line. Want to bet on it? Like, average defense. Want to bet on it? Bet. What's the bet? He bets over 230. Oh, I will take that bet. Yes. Okay. What do you want? You want a uh, six pack? I don't drink beer. So you, I how about, about like you have to get abs. If, uh, oh, right. no, that's, to- yeah. Because if we're talking, well, that's yeah, not, I don't drink hard liquor. You, well, yeah, I know, but you, you know, you what's like a top, how, how much is a top tier six pack? Uh, 20 bucks. Okay. You know, well, mostly they're, you're usually four packs. But that like twenty okay. bucks. So twenty bucks. bucks. How about you do? I get you a top tier, four yeah, pack, okay. right? Yeah. Of your choice. Sure. Okay. And then I pick a around a twenty dollar bottle of wine. Okay. Fine. Perfect. Yes. Okay. I There's our bet. Dude, the, that's a bet I want to lose. De- I desperately want to lose that bet. Right. I so th- this is my big. Th- I do think that he's going to struggle. He's not going to have a great year because I do think he is like a two fifty to two sixty hitter. But I but the problem is with him is that it's catching. He is not a good catcher. I think That's it gets in his head. And I think the big problem is this is the whole problem is that him with Giancarlo Stanton there. Stanton needs to get moved out so they can just throw him in as a DH. And if they can just throw him in as a DH, his batting average will go up to 260, maybe even 270. And he'll be a 35 to 40 home run guy with 120 RBIs every year. The problem because he I think can't. That's a terrible assessment. <laughs> I, I just don't. <laughs> I don't think that would happen. Oh, I That's think easily. No, I think it's easy. 
He is he is a good bat. I just think catching has really consumed him because he's so bad at it and he has to focus on it 100%. He has to work hard to get to like slightly below average catching. Right. And do you know how hard that is mentally on you? Like that I'm is like Sure it is, but welcome to the big leagues, kid. Right. But some players are better just as DHs. The bottom line is they invested too. They they held on too long. Now I guess the upside is that he doesn't cost them anything. He he's still in you know. Yeah. So, and this is this is it. This, this is his make or break year because I think after this, I think he's a an unrestricted free agent after after this year. So which is to, also well, great. His, my favorite. We'll see his, his contract on Sport Rack, but but mm-hmm. I think um, but I think I think they can cut ties you know comfortably after this year and okay. You know, but anyways, um, oh, so let me just, you gave your prediction. Uh, yeah. I'm with you by the way, on the prediction. This I mean, Kluber and they signed our, our man, DJ, they're still there. You have Tyon who's there. I, I, so listen, here's what I want to say about the Yankees. This is another thing that Joe Pacino and I actually bullpen isn't quite as good. Yeah. But. Well, once I get Britain back, I'll feel a little bit yeah, better, yeah, but yeah. That, that's probably, that's probably summertime. So mm. here's the one thing I actually think about the Yankees. I think this team is an absolute all or nothing team. And when I say that, it means I think either the the nothing is I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. The all is they're going to win it all. That's how I, I don't. Wow. And I actually and honestly, I really don't think there's a and I know a lot of people would disagree with me. Probably you. I don't think there's a lot of gray area there. I think they are an all or nothing team because I think it's either all going to work out or it's going to completely fall apart. They're going to like Kluber will be hurt. Tayon will be hurt. Britain will won't come back the same. Severino won't make uh, even when Severino makes it back, he'll be ineffective. He'll keep tipping his pitches. It's either all going to work out or none of it is. That's a, that's how I feel about this year. I really don't see a lot of gray area for them, hmm. and I'm a little bit I'm I'm probably a little bit more worried about the Blue Jays than you are. Um, I think the I do think the Yankees will win the division. I don't know how comfortable it mm-hmm. will be. I think it'll be very uncomfortable because I think the Blue Jays are going to make us very uncomfortable. That lineup of theirs scares the shit out of me. <laughs> I mean, they are they are they're well, I don't know what the next level is between like pesky and dangerous. If there's some if there's some sort of middle ground between those two, but that's what the Blue Jays are. Their lineup is it scares me. The, and and it scares me in the long term because of how young all those guys are. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of legacy players on that team. They're actually a fun team. They are. They are actually a really fun team. If if you were a Blue Jay fan, there's a yeah. lot to look forward to. Here's what I will say about the Blue Jays, though. Who in that pitching rotation scares you? They're, I mean, none. Nobody. Yeah. The answer is nobody. Nobody really scares it's, you. Like, they're an offensive they juggernaut. They're going to score lots yes, of runs. Are. They're going to hit lots exactly. of home runs. I mean, they added Springer. Well, I mean, like, too. I mean Ryu, and, Ryu, Ryu is, I guess, their ace, right? Yeah, yeah. Jin Ryu. It's terrifying. That's, that's not an ace. No. That's not even a. That's not even an ace of your team. He's the like best. He, he's a probably a third, a three guy. Yeah, he's a three yeah. on like a good team. Yeah. Like when he was with the Dodgers. Right. That was a good spot for him. Mm-hmm. He came to the Blue Jays. Three, he's four, like, he's yeah. There. He's their ace, and he should not be. So that's that's. We just got another morning, boys. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. Glitch in the makers. Oh, I've got all sorts of glitches today. Probably. That's where the Blue Jays are a little deficient, is in the starting rotation. But anyways, we should move on and and go to the next division. But I agree with you. This is the Yankees. If I had to pick, like, a final order, I would say Yankees, Blue Jays, Rays, Red Sox, Orioles. Got a question for you. Over, under, 97 wins for the Yankees. Oh, man. Can I do, like, a push and just say that's the number? Um, under, under I, by one ninety-six. I, I say over. I, I think they're going to win. They're going to be close to hundred wins. You know, I the reason I say is, under ninety-seven is close. I, That's why I thought I, it was a good number. The reason I say under is because I I think that the Blue Jays and the Rays and the Yankees will beat each other up. Yeah, enough that that makes sense. You know, like. Like if because if they're playing, 19, I, I just think, I think that the Yankees' like, offense is close to the Blue Jays, but the Yankees' pitching is far better than the Blue Jays. So that's I think they're going to win more games. Like there's not going to be a fifty fifty split there. Um, but I do I think that I think the Blue Jays and the Rays are both going to have winning records. I mean the Blue Jays and the Rays. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I think I think that's yeah. I hmm. think so. I think the Blue Jays will definitely have a winning. I'm a little more worried about the Rays just because you know when you lose Blake Snell. Yeah. And you know, I just you know, you, you took you took an ace away. Yeah, a team that is. They're gonna be. They're both. They're gonna have a battle for second. 
Because the Rays pitching was their strength. Right. And so you took a big piece of that strength. And, then, um, and I just think, I think they're going to have a good battle for second place. I think it's going to be fun. A fun yeah. second place battle. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would, I'm leaning towards the Blue Jays just because... I just think their lineup is a little deeper, and I mm-hmm. think the pitching staffs are. I mean, I would give the Rays the edge in pitching, and the Blue yeah. Jays the edge in lineup. But mm-hmm. I, I just got a feeling like the Blue Jays are just going to be a little more trouble than they were last year. Gotcha. All right, let's go on to the AL Central. Uh, we got the Twinkies, the Indians, uh, the White Sox, the Royals, the Tigers. Um, I'll let you go first. You can go first with this one. Uh, I, I'll, just, I, I'll just run down how I think it's going to go. Okay. Uh, I mean, the Tigers are going to finish in last, but yeah. Uh, the Tigers not only going to finish in last, but they might be battling the Orioles for like all-time worst record. I, it, it could be a really ugly season. Oh, um, Damien's on spring break, by the way. For the, oh, nice. Yeah. Um, real quickly, for me, uh, I, I think it'll be close, but I got the White Sox winning this division. Mm, I got the White oh, Sox wow. up, upending the Twins. Um, you know, I just, I feel like every year the twins are just like this kind of, I mean, in the, I've got the Indians in third place, by the way, and then the Royals in fourth. Um, I, I just, I just kind of feel like the, not like the twins ever had that window per se, cause mm-hmm. they, they, they could never get by the Yankees, but I don't know. I just, I just feel like the, I like, I like what the white Sox are building. They're a young team with a good core. And I think it's going to finally all come together for them. And I also think that they will be a dangerous, a dangerous team in the playoffs too. Like I could actually, I could definitely see them in an ALCS gotcha. this year, right. but that's where I, that's where I've got it. I've, I've got this, I've got the white Sox winning the division and maybe even comfortably, like maybe even by like seven games or more. Wow. So I, I have the twins winning. Um, I think, uh, it's, it's a, it's a Twinkie year. Um, I have, uh, the Indians in, in third place and, and the Sox in, in second as well. Uh, I have, well, I have the so- the White Sox in second. Um, I think that the White Sox, I think it's going to be a close, it's going to be a very big battle for the number one spot. But I do think that the, the twins are going to like edge it out just because they seem to like, they just seem to do that stuff from time to time. Like just, you know, and then ultimately of, fail in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and great regular season. Too. Yeah, and I think the I think anybody that leaves the Central this year and goes into the playoffs is going to have that same fate. There's just no, no nothing really fearful in the Central. There's the White Sox lineup has some depth. They do, but it's not it's like top. it's it's no it's it's worse than the Blue Jays. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, I agree. And the Blue Jays were looking at second or third in the AL East. I'm just saying, like, we're, we're talking relative to the division. Yeah, and I just, oh. I just think that there's not a lot scary that's coming out of the Central. So for the playoffs, it's just going to be like they're getting in. Whoever gets in is going to get bounced out pretty quick. Like I just don't see, awesome. you know, yeah, unless they're like super hot at the time, of course. But you know, Damien says that uh, the, I guess he's saying the Yankees will beat the Red Sox and the Orioles 15 times each. <laughs> I don't know about that. That won't happen. You, know you got Trey Mancini on the Orioles, and he just like. Hey, don't make fun of Trey Mancini, dude. I love that guy. I know you do. You always talk about how he lights up the Yankees all the time. Love that guy so much, and he's a you know he's and he and he did he beat cancer by the way too. So awesome. Absolutely. Way to go, Trey. Um, and then he said, "Man, YouTube is struggling today. That if that comment came through twice, apologies. I told it told me it failed to go through. You might have said it before we like dropped out and came back. So Maybe sorry it about is that. YouTube that's struggling. And not it us. could be. Although we're, we're struggling too. It's it's <laughs> definitely it's probably us. We're trying a bunch of new things, new settings. We're trying to get things better. So it's it's a uh, it's a little a bit of different. new equipment between the last show and this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of new equipment. So, <laughs> so. we're struggling. We're struggling. Um, and then all right. So let's get into." Uh, the next division, which is the AL West, um, that's the Astros, the the A's, the Mariners, Rangers, the Angels. Um, who do you got? Who you got in the, coming out of the AL West? Your favorite team, the Astros. Unfortunately, those fucking cheaters are gonna. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna win that division. They are. I mean, Oakland. I think will make it close. I think this is gonna be one of those typical years. Like, right? Houston. So you think even though the Strohs lost Springer and they're not gonna get Verlander. They're yeah. still going to come through. Yeah, and that's an indictment on the division. Hmm. I don't know. I just, uh, I mean, maybe, they, maybe this will finally be the year where like everything works out for the Angels mm. and they can put it together. They need to stay healthy. Yeah, they can stay healthy. They can stay healthy. I mean, Otani is having some kind of spring. 
And he is a special player. He is. If he so, can stay healthy, he's a special player. God, I really do wish On both Yankees sides. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He he I want him to stay healthy. I have no like animosity towards him, even though he didn't choose the Yankees. I, I don't. Mm-hmm. Um I, I wish him all the best because he's just one of those guys that I think is so great for baseball. And the fact that him and Trout are on the same team in the mm-hmm. same lineup. Yeah. It's dangerous. Um and I want God, I so desperately want Mike Trout to like get a playoff run. But they just there's no pitching there. <laughs> How are they going to do any – even if they could make the playoffs, how are they – The, the good thing is also AL West is not a like – It's not a juggernaut. No. And, and there's three teams up there who if you said any one of them could win, like if you just pull the name out of a hat, you could maybe make a case for and, each one. And that's why I think that the Yankees are going to come close to winning like 100 games this year is because – like and like maybe even get over is yeah. because – the AL Central and the AL West is just if you want to look at where the juggernauts are juggernauts are this year, it's all in the NL. NL is full. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, especially in the East and the West. It is it's t- it's yes, yeah. very difficult. Um there and, and there are just some real really good teams. Um I are, mean I you, I will be disappointed. I mean, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. If the Yankees don't make the world don't make the World Series this year, I would consider that a massive disappointment. They have a, yeah, they have a week it's a week just whole, the it's whole week. the whole division is just weak it's like i mean it's, it's just this al is just not great this year um no, it's, it'll still provide some good entertainment because there are some like i said in the al east that's where you got the most kind of talent with the rays and the jays i will go for this division i'm going to go astros angels a's Mariners, Rangers, Rangers, Mariners, whatever. I I have I have the same I have the same thing except for number one and two. I'm gonna go with the Angels because I want Mike Trout to get there, um, right. and I I have it I just God, I, right Please. just barely edging them out. You know, like something like 90 wins for the Angels and 89 for the Astros, or maybe 89 and 88, something like that. Um, I just don't the Astros. Uh, you know, they had Osuna, and as much as you and I both didn't dislike Osuna, um, he was an effective closer. Yeah. Um, they don't have him anymore. I, they, so they they have lost a lot. I would have picked the Angels if the Astros didn't get Brantley back because I and I thought Brantley was going to go elsewhere. But yeah. him being in that lineup, you know, he's a good player. Tuve still, yeah. yeah, he's a good player. He's just a professional hitter. Yeah, and I, I would like to see. I I just want to see the Angels do something like have a spot where they they are close. And they yeah. just are able to edge it, like maybe get an and get another reliever and get another starter. But couldn't you also very easily see the Angels finishing third in this division? Uh, yeah. Like it could very the A's could outbeat them, or you know, because the A's have the A's do have some pop. Um, yeah. and you know the A's are going to pull their normal shit, right? Where like they maybe start off slow and then have this massive run. Yeah, like, where they went the they win like forty out of fifty and, games or something like that. They're going to sprint yeah. to the finish, and they're either going to like win the division or you know. <laughs> yeah, but the Rangers are terrible, and the Mariners aren't very good either. So, all right, let's get into uh, National League East. This is a tough division for me. And I'm I'm like I'm trying not to go like head over like heart over head here. Mm-hmm. Because unlike most Yankee fans, I do not hate the Mets. In fact, I I like the Mets and I like going to the City Field cuz it maybe it's it's a top 3 stadium mm-hmm. in baseball to be honest. Um and uh this division is really good. It and, and I, like almost from top to bottom really good because the Marlins, even though I have the Marlins finishing last, mm-hmm. It's not an ugly last. It's like a competitive last. Like they could still win 80 games, maybe maybe in the high 70s. Like, like not an embarrassing last. Let's put it that way, okay? Like to me, this is the best division in baseball. Yeah. And Or at least the most competitive. Yes. Because it's just not super top heavy. Um, my head says you should pick the Braves. But my heart says the Mets are going to figure out a way to win this division. They got a good team. They have a good team. I'm looking forward to seeing Frankie Lindor in New mm. York. Um, Unfortunately, not in the right uniform, but uh, that's okay. I mean, I, I I love him. I do love him. He's a good uh, player. He's a great player, and he's so, so good for baseball too. Yeah. He's an ambassador for baseball kind of guy, and uh, he's one of those joy. He's a joy of baseball guy, as yes. I like to say. Um, Unfortunately, but, you know, he's not going to have. I don't think he's going to have a very long career because he's just so slight. Yeah, well, I don't know. I think he'll have a good career. Uh, I think anyway. he's gonna have a good. I think he's gonna have. A, he might even have a Hall of Fame career. It's just not gonna be like for another I, ten years. <laughs> it's 
Well, I'm gonna so I'm gonna say the Mets in this division by like a nose hair. Um, and then the Braves uh, both will make the playoffs. Um, Not giving the Nationals any shine, huh? And then I got I got Nationals, Phillies, Marlins to to round it out. But I, and again, the Mets are in a weird kind of way. I just I like once they get everyone like once Syndergaard comes back, I just I love their pitching staff. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, and he's gonna be back in like June, maybe. Yeah, and if I I think they need to get a little bit more out of Marcus Stroman. Um, but even still, you have he's a good, the ace he's a good, of aces. Yeah, you have the best pitcher in baseball on your team. The the best pitcher in baseball. He's I good. don't even think it's close. I actually saw some MLB ranking the other day where they were like ranking like best players in baseball, like overall, like the the top twenty. I think it was like ESPN's top twenty or something yeah. like that in baseball. And I could swear to God they had Garrett Cole above Jacob Degrom. And listen, as much as I love Cole, I was like laughing. I'm like, are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not even close. It's DeGrom close. He is D- Jacob Degrom is head and shoulders the best pitcher in baseball. Garrett it's Cole is not close. he's a stud. He's he's the ace of aces, the king of kings. He's the he's the man. He is very good. I give you that. I mean, can you imagine how many games he would win? Well, I should I shouldn't disparage the Mets now because their lineup is better. But can you imagine how many games like Degrom would win if he was like a Yankee? You never know. Some pitchers <laughs> just find ways to lose. Well, uh, Jacob Degrom is not that guy. That's when you have a guy that good. It's where the team fails you, the lineup fails you, not you failing them. It happens like, though. Can, it can happens. Remember, I don't even remember a game last year or even recent memory where like Degrom got blown up. Whereas Cole, Cole can get blown up. Hmm. It can happen. Degrom, like his bad game, is giving up three. He's wins. good. He's really good. It's a bad game for he, him. I love that guy. You think, I think a quality outing. I remember getting in so many arguments with people like several years ago about how DeGrom was the best pitcher out of Harvey and uh, Syndergaard and that. And, I, and they would just, no, there's no way. There's no way. Because, Dude, because you were talking about classic power pitchers, even though DeGrom th- yeah. throws hard. He, he is a power pitcher that happens to have three other pitches. <laughs> Well, you had one guy with the nickname of Thor and the other guy with yeah. the nickname of the Dark Knight. Yeah. And so, yeah. And yeah, and then you have this hippie with, with the long hair, right? He's got the, <laughs> throwing oh, gas oh, with oh, a great slider. Cleaned up though, huh? cleaned up though. He's got yeah. the short hair. Still, so, you know, kind of like sold out, like Charlie Sheen in Major League, but <laughs> Major League Two. Uh, Except he's still stick great. with the heater. <laughs> Give him the heater, Ricky. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, I have I have the Mets winning the division as well. Um, this could be one of those years where we get a New York New York in the the World Series because they do have the they have that. It's just they have some parts in their lineup that isn't pro- that aren't proven yet. Um, they have some young talent that's not really proven. So we'll have to wait and see how that all shakes I out. I get too stressful. <laughs> I can't do it. I mean, I know it's it's maybe fun. It's fun for New York and the five boroughs. I can't deal with that shit. Yeah, the rest. I, I don't know how much the rest of the country likes it, but um, I, I think sure it, it definitely hates it. But. Yeah, but it'd be it'd be fun for us. Um, well, it'd be fun for me. Um, but the um, I I actually have the Braves in uh, third. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the Nationals in second. I'm gonna I I think that the Braves are just gonna happen. They're they're just gonna. It's gonna be a down year for them. I think that they're going to come back next year, and I think that they will continue to fight. But I just think it's going to be a down year. I think the Nationals, they just have a way of winning games. Um, and, uh, I, I, you know, I do – I still like their staff. I still like their lineup. Um, so I, I am, I'm pitching I'm, – I am, I am saying the Mets are going to run away with the division. I, I think really? they're gonna. I think they're gonna win by ten, twelve games. Um, wow. And I think that the Nationals and Phillies will be fighting out for that mid eighties kind of. Uh, I think that's how they're gonna uh, shake that's it out. Cool. I mean, the, the, the Nats and the Braves are gonna kind of like it's gonna be like eighty three, eighty five wins ish. Uh, and then the Phillies will probably be right there too. They're gonna probably be right around five hundred, maybe a maybe a hair over. So it's gonna be a very good. Um, finish particularly in that mid part of the division. Um, okay. So I'm excited to see how that all shakes out as well. Um, all right, NL Central. This is a fairly tough division to pick. Always, it they is. always seem to have. Yeah, they sure. never seem to really have like a lot of like the top tier talent, but they always seem to have all about equal talent. Um, and it and it kind of flip flops. You know, sometimes the Reds sneak their way in there. Sometimes the Pirates sneak their way in there. But 
uh, it happens to be the Brewers right now that are in there. The Brewers, the Cubs, and the Cardinals are kind of the three teams that kind of have yeah. the best uh, the best lineup, best pitching staff. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I think the Cardinals are a little bit old, um, you know, and in some certain key spots. Um, I'm not sure how. Arenado is going to perform. Um, he's just getting older, as we all are. And is he going to be, still be that MVP on both sides of the ball? Is he going to be, you know, just a super stud? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure he's going to be able to handle it um, in that particular lineup. But okay, I hope he does because he's such a he's such a stud. Um, he at least he was at Coors. Um, and then uh, I have I have the Brewers finishing in first this year. Um, I like their staff. I like their lineup, um, and uh, I have the Cubs finishing in second, and then I think it's all going to be close. It's all going to be within about five games. You know, the the Cubs, the Brewers, and the and the Cardinals. I think are all going to be within about five to seven games of each other. So it's going to be kind of a nail biter going into September. Um, so we're the same. I'm just swapping um, two and three. I've got Brewers one, that- Cardinals two. Is that what? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So you have Brewers, the Cardinals second Brewers, and Cubs Cardinals, third. Cubs. Yeah. I, I like the Cubs this year. I think the Cubs, I, I like it. I, I like Jock Peterson. I, I, I think he's going to have a bang out year. I think he's going to hit like 35 bombs. I think he's going to he's gonna do well in that lineup. Um, all right. So now we're going to move on to the NL West uh, where doozy <laughs> this, if there was ever a couple of teams that are going to really compete with the, the Mets this year. Yeah, there they are. You have the Dodgers and the Padres. Yeah. These are two teams that I am going to watch as much as possible. As much as I have the availability to watch the Dodgers and the Padres play, yeah. I want to see them play because they're both going to be very exciting teams. Should I mean, you have Bauer on the Dodgers yeah. now. There's going to be a lot of games. That starting play. staff for the Dodgers is outrageous. Yeah, it's out of control. Outrageous. Their offense is bananas. Um, the it's Padres... A, it's, a com- it's as complete a team. It's a champion that got better. Yeah. And the Padres are maybe what maybe a hair worse because they don't have quite the starting staff they still have a very good starting staff yeah they don't might not have the same exact bullpen but they have a good bullpen and they have a beast of a lineup i think both teams upgraded but they but they stayed relative to where they are so it's like the dodgers got bauer okay they moved to tick up but then the Padres got Snell, so they moved to tick up. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, they're they're there. They're with each other. I mean, I don't know about you. I've got the Dodgers one, Padres yeah, two. Me too. And then who really gives a shit after that? But if you want to fill it out, I don't know. Giants, Giants, D-backs, Rockies, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I, I have D-backs, Giants, D-backs, Rockies. Giants, Rockies, yeah. whatever. Rockies are definitely in last. They're they're, yeah, they're uh, the garbage yeah, team. They're, they're uh, but the D-backs and the Giants, the, uh, the D-backs and the Giants are are I think third, fourth. Um, yeah. But but let's be honest, the Padres and the Dodgers both making the playoffs. Braves and Mets should both be in the playoffs, in my opinion. Uh, what are we? Are, are, I don't even know what the is it. Six, uh, are we doing the six teams again? I don't even know. I don't know. Right, we'll we'll figure that out later. We're, yeah, we're not whatever. we're not picking. We're just picking division winners right now. We're not picking yeah. well, World Series. So, so let's just recap this then. We got. I have Dodgers. You have Dodgers. Yep. We've both got Brewers Central. Mm-hmm. We both have Mets in the East. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Okay, so we agreed there. West, I went Astros. You went Angels, right? Yes. Central, I went White Sox. Did you go Twins? I said Twinkies. And we both got the Yankees knees. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I like it. Very good. All right, let's move on. Next topic. Get a little.